Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, we're going to unbox a little bit of silver. I've got a couple little things here to show you, some 90%, a couple coins. But then we're going to talk about the love for silver and why many of us stack it, not just because, you know, we want to save wealth or hedge against inflation, but we just like buying silver. So if you like silver, let's get to it. Hey everybody, all right, welcome back to the channel. So I've got some silver laid out here on the table for you, including some of these coins here that have uh, started to show signs of toning. And it's all my fault, I'll be honest. I had left some silver coins kind of laying out on the table after shooting a video uh, back over the Christmas holiday. I think they sat out on the desk uh, for four or five days without me putting them in the tubes. Uh, there was a variety of uh, different coins, including one of my Canadian geese. So now I've got a nice toned Canadian goose here. And uh, it's no big deal, honestly. It's actually kind of nice to look at. But uh, besides the 90% here and a few toned coins, I wanted to show you a new order I got in. And these are just going to be some silver eagles. And I actually took a peek at them real quick. Uh, these are kind of cool because they're 2022s. All right, so... I know a lot of you don't like the new design, and it's not my favorite either. I actually prefer the uh, the older design. However, I'm uh, stacking Silver Eagles for the long run. Uh, living here in the United States, I do buy a few here and there. Just a, a couple, maybe uh, two per week or maybe uh, two every two weeks. Uh, not that many, as mentioned. But here's some nice 2022s. I uh, got these from my friends at Aiden Coins. So very nice looking Silver Eagles. The first uh, 2022s for me. Go ahead and set that one to the side, grab the other one. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep buying uh, just a couple of these eagles uh, here and there. Still working on filling up a monster box of BU American Silver Eagles. I've got a bunch of different dates like uh, this 2018 right here. i got a tube of these going right now. I think I got these from Texas Precious Metals. I've got uh, six of these 2018s from ordering their uh, random date Silver Eagles when they're in stock. So... That's also another good place to purchase silver. All right, so let's go ahead and get to another coin that I picked up in a recent order. I've been meaning to show you guys. I'm behind on my videos, and you guys are familiar with this coin. This is the new for 20... Well, in 2021, this coin was redesigned. This is the Silver Britannia. Uh, this one here is a 2022. And I've actually got a whole tube of these stacked already. So this is number 21, and therefore we'll go ahead and start that uh, new tube. Of the Silver Britannias for 2022. Now, these are much cheaper to purchase than the American Silver Eagle. You get a Sovereign coin, three nines fine silver. Uh, real nice with security features and all that, if that means something to you, and I think it should. And then, obviously, uh, the Queen is on the other side, so if you don't like that, then the Britannia is off limits. But good news, we've got the, the Krugerrand and the American Silver Eagle for you that, uh, you know, just can't get down with the crown, if you know what I mean. So anyways, I like the Britannias. I, I honestly don't care. Uh, I like a, a beautiful looking coin that is, uh, you know, try to get a focus here. Sorry, the lighting. There we go. I like a beautiful coin. Lost my train of thought there. That is, uh, you know, pretty cheap and recognized. And I'm telling you what, these things were not that popular with the older design. I think I've got one of the, uh, give me a second here, guys. I'm looking off over to this side. Yeah, here we go. So we've got, uh, I think this is a 2020. Yeah, 2020. Now let's go ahead and grab that other Britannia. And yeah, we're just talking about silver here anyways. This video really has no direction. <laughs> so if, if if you're waiting for some punchline or something, uh, we're just talking about silver in this video, showing you what I got, talking about a few coins that I like. After all, yesterday was Valentine's Day, and uh, I wanted to, you know, kind of express my love for some coins. So here we go. We got the 2020 to the left, and then you've got the more modern um, 2022 here with the added security features, new design. And these are just super cheap as compared to American Silver Eagles, and they're just getting a lot more popular. When this design was the coin, my coin shops weren't that interested in them. Now with the new design, uh, you know, they're, they're, there's more attraction to them, plus with the uh, obvious increase in premiums on American Silver Eagles, which were the, you know, number one all-around favorite here in the United States, and still, still is. ASC still is the champ. It's just, um, you know, it's getting harder and harder to stack them. They're becoming more 
uh, collectible as uh, time is going on here recently. So, okay, we got some 90% silver here, and, you know, some of you maybe aren't fans of 90%, but, uh, you know, you stack 90% silver away, guys, because you want to add weight in silver. You want to have divisible silver. The stuff's already money. You know, you don't have to uh, explain it to somebody that's not a stacker. It, it's money, and a lot of, you know, uh, folks that are pretty resourceful out there are definitely down with the 90%. I uh, can tell you what, it's real popular amongst uh, working class people. 90% silver is a great way to start stacking and saving in silver. So we've got, uh, you know, Ben Franklin here, 1957, a couple of Washington quarters. Let's see, we got, uh, yeah, Barber Dime. Barber Dimes are always nice, aren't they? Let's see what we got here. Yeah. A little Barber Dime, Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on it. Yep. All right, 1916, little toning going on. Got a couple of John F. Kennedys. Uh, nothing too, you know, fancy. This is pretty normal 90% stuff, but you can do this with it. It's great. I love 90% silver. So there you go, guys. We got a couple of silver eagles. I also got a new Britannia, uh, number 21. Start a new tube of those. And then, of course, some more 90%. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to some of my favorite coins. Actually, not all coins here, but some of my favorite silver pieces uh, things that, uh, you know, I just genuinely pull out and look at occasionally or more often than some of the other stuff. All right. So we're going to start out with one of my favorites from the Perth Mint, and that is the Silver Swan. Now, I just really like the Swan. There's there's a ton of great designs coming out of the Perth Mint every single year. Hold on. Let's get a good uh, focus here on this beautiful coin. There's just something about the Swan that I really like. Potentially, it's the bird theme and you will see uh, a theme here with birds as this kind of goes on. But um, yeah, I really like this coin. So I'll be looking to pick up some more of these. I don't think I'll be going back in time and buying uh, any of the uh, older ones. Unless, of course, I just stumble across them at a pretty good price. Or, uh, you know, I've got some spare cash and I'm looking to, you know, add, add something else to the cart. Uh, but these are real nice. I, I really like those uh, silver Swan. So let's talk about another thing I like, and that's pretty obvious. And here's a good toner. And I like this tone American Silver Eagle. I bought this at a local coin shop. Let's go ahead and get a good focus on it. So this is a millennia coin. This is the uh, year 2000 American Silver Eagle. I bought this at a local coin shop at All American Gold and Silver. Uh, I would say about two, two and a half years ago. And I've just kind of left it out because this was the condition that I that I purchased it in with all this toning here. And I've just left it out on my desk. I've thrown it in my pocket a couple of times. I've, uh, you know, I just thumb around with it during the day when I'm, when I'm in, uh, you know, in my office, just kind of messing around. So this is just a Silver Eagle from the year 2000. Uh, not an important date to me other than the fact, I guess, that it was, you know, the beginning of the millennia. Uh, new decade, new millennia, whatever, you know, new century, a lot of different things, right? So, uh, pretty cool coin, and uh, yeah, one of my favorites. So that American Silver Eagle is another one there. I also really like the, this is the Silver Shield Silver Round, and this is the uh, Pieces of Eight. And I'll go ahead and show you some information here. Let's go ahead and cut to that real quick. So you can see the uh, Pieces of Eight here. This is from the Silver Shield, and they've actually got this Canadian Trucker coin for those of you that are interested in, uh, you know, looking at something and supporting that particular cause. Uh, you can, you know, take a look here at this website. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Not affiliated, not sponsored, no kickbacks, just something I stumbled across and I uh, thought was pretty neat. So thought about throwing it in a video, talking about some coins that I like, you know, for any of you out there, maybe Canadians that uh, are into that kind of stuff. So there you go. But uh, more more importantly, this here silver round uh, that I wanted to get talking about is, you know, one of the more common ones. And that's from their, uh, the BU series. And that is the pieces of eight silver round. It's uh, it's a good one. So let's go ahead and show you some some of that stuff right now. Really nice looking silver round. Anyways, it's one of my favorites. So here, here's the one that I actually got. Got a cutting back to my camera now, getting away from the computer screen. So it just uh, reminds me, you know, of uh, the days of <laughs> the pirate days, right? Uh, you know, pieces of eight, uh, the trade, all the uh, the nautical theme, the the compass, the fire. It's just uh, the Silver Shield series, and this is actually the older uh, design. Let me go and grab, I've got one right over here you can see. Uh, let me flip this one around. So this, uh, let's get a good focus. Okay, so you're going to get them looking like this nowadays and not like this. It just is what it is. 
but uh, you can still pick this one up from um, uh, you know the Silver Shield series, and I've got that link down below too on the mint uh, to get these from. I believe it's the Golden State Mint, but either which way, I'll have uh, the link down below. So I do like this pieces of eight silver round. It just you know it reminds me of the days of uh, chasing gold and silver, and I like those uh, you know books. Uh, pirate movies, pirate shows, stuff like that. I've always kind of uh, had an interest in that. So a really, really cool one there. So all right, let's get on to the Canadian Goose. This is a two ounce silver coin and I showed you one a little earlier, but uh, this one's better condition. This one here is in a capsule and I've got uh, three more in a capsule. So I've got four total of these geese. I'd like to have more, but uh, they're pretty expensive, pretty hard to find these days. Very simple. You got the matte silver background. Uh, the uh, you know this is a representation from Canadian coinage. You know, so this is just uh, a very famous design, namely up in Canada, but it's something even here in the United States that I appreciate. I can get down with it. Uh, very nice looking, thick, two ounce silver round. You do have the uh, you know Queen Elizabeth II on the other side. A little scuff there, I think, on the capsule. Uh, it is ten dollars instead of five, like your other. Uh, maple leaves, but this is a nice Canadian coin that I can that I could see myself buying more of. Four nines fine too, um, if uh, you know they make them again. They don't have to be twenty twenties. You know if they make them again, I'll I'll look to pick some of those up. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to this particular Canadian silver maple leaf here, another Canadian coin. And I really like this coin because it was gifted to me by Clean Money, aka Silver Britches. And as, this was actually the first one troy ounce silver coin that anyone ever uh, sent me as a gift. So uh, to put it, uh, you know, in other words, I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty taken back by it. Right? It's a, it's a pretty awesome gift to get a full one ounce silver coin. Right? You're not paid for this, and uh, obviously silver is not that uh, expensive. I mean, it's part of the reason we stack it. Right? It's a little cheaper to stack. You can get more of it. It has great uh, potential. It's a speculative. Coin. It's industrial. It's uh, you know uh, used for monetary purposes. It's been around forever. Uh, people love silver. Silver is a uh, collector's favorite. Uh, it's great for barter. It's great to um, uh, you know buy, collect, and stack all at the same time. And I mean, look at the wonderful stuff that I've got here. And I've got a bunch more stuff too. But uh, you know, let's just leave it at this for now. I got to put all this stuff back here as soon as we're done here. Anyways, those are uh, five different, uh, you know, we got the Canadian Goose, you've got the uh, Pieces of Eight from the Silver Shield, the uh, Canadian Maple Leaf, this one in particular here got from Clean Money, uh, the American Silver Eagle, you know, I've got clean versions of the American Silver Eagle too, but uh, this particular toner here is just a really cool silver eagle in my book, uh, the 2020, actually this is the 2000, uh, here we go, let's get one more. Focus in on it. I don't know why the camera. There we go. All right. Maybe it's it's a kind of dim lit in here tonight, guys. I need to add more light, I guess. So anyways, um, you know, curious to know what some of your favorite silver pieces are. And uh, obviously, uh, what you're stacking, what you're collecting, what your thoughts are on silver for 2022. And uh, of course, we'll see you back soon with some more unboxings, the normal stuff we do here and uh, more stuff. So I got to clean some of these. I'm going to figure out a way to probably just dip. Uh, these coins here. I don't know. I may or may not. I've got to think about it. They're pretty neat looking at it. Just, you know, a couple toned examples of some cool silver coins. This is obviously cool stuff too for the uh, camera to lay out on the table for these videos. So uh, we shall see. But I really do hope to see you guys back again soon. And I'll have some more gold and silver to show you. So have a great night. Keep stacking. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.